Hi everyone, today I want to show you how to create an image gallery or an image carousel with Mobbing Cube. It's going to be very simple, this is going to be a very short tutorial uh, using databases. Okay, so if you want to learn how to do it, check this video. Hey everyone, in this video I want to explain how to create an image gallery with Moving Cube. It's a quite easy process, okay, but I think it's a bit hidden on Moving Cube, so a lot of people don't know how to do it. So basically I'm going to use a database. So well I have this this app which only has one screen, okay? Uh, I think that's okay for this tutorial. So I'm going to pick this type of, of screen, the data view. So click on it. Okay, now I want to create a new database. Um, I'll do it offline, okay? You could do it also on the cloud or any remote database, but basically I'm just going to do a local database. I will call it images and I just need one field. I could do more fields, uh, for example, for put in the name of the image or some extra information. Okay, but for now, I just want to use one. So I can call it image, for example, and the data type will be image. Click on accept. And I won't use any filter or order. Uh, I, I mean, you can do it. If you want to have like random uh, images, you can have a database with 500 images and then use a random order for example okay in that case every time you open the app you will see a different image but in this example um, that's not really important so now i only need to add a data view which is going to be a gallery view okay click on gallery view select it and you just well in this case since we only have one field it's already selected but if not if you have more fields in your database you had you have to select here the the name of the column that has the image that you want to to show in the gallery okay you can also add some actions so in case someone clicks a single click on one image you can make the app do something like go to a different screen uh, make a phone call or any other action like you do in other screens of Moving Cube. Okay, so now I just need to add images. So I'm going to open the, the resource manager and here I'm going to add new images. Okay, I'm, I'm going to drag and drop some of Im some images that I already have. So in this example, I'm going to only use four images. That's enough for now. And the last step is to add them to the database. Click on edit and then just click on this button. Select the first one. Then this, in the second row, I'm going to select this one. Every time you add a new row, you will see this empty row uh, on the bottom. Okay, that's for the, a new record on the database. So you can just keep adding images like this. Okay, now I have four images in my image gallery. Okay, and that's it. I mean, I, I now I have this screen of the app, uh, which will show uh, image carousel where I can swipe left and right for the images. I'm going to preview the app. I, I will install it in my phone and I will show you. So here's my phone. I'm installing the, the preview of my app. Uh, I don't want to use Firefox. Uh, okay, anyway. Open, install. Send. Open the app. And voila. Okay, so here's my gallery. 
I can swipe to the right or to the left and I can zoom in and zoom mm -hmm. out and then once it's in the middle I can just do it Well, this was a very short tutorial. I just wanted to focus on this functionality of Moving Cube. So, well, I hope you enjoyed uh, and it was useful for you. And if you found this video useful, please uh, give it a like. Okay, uh, that way I will know that I should keep doing more videos like this one. Okay, so see you in the next one. Bye.